What's going on everybody, Tom here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Secret Invasion. Now I know a lot of people aren't liking this show, and it is a bit lackluster, to be honest, but I think it has the makings of a pretty good story. Uh, it's starting to pick up a little bit more. That last episode was definitely paced a lot faster. What have we found out so far? Gaia has taken Extremis, and she's super-powered, which is great for her. Unfortunately, uh, someone that didn't have it was Talos. Gravik is just ruthless. Obviously, he's uh, an extremist because he's on his plan, and his plan, as far as he's concerned, is for the survival of all of his people. Before Talos got killed, though, he did get to watch his daughter walk away from him yet again after trying to be loyal to him, simply because he wasn't prepared to take action. You know, you've got to love his approach. He's, I think it was a diehard approach. You know, he really loved all of his people, didn't want to hurt anyone, even the baddies, if he could help it. Uh, but yeah, ultimately... It led to his own demise. We did have a pretty cool bit there, though, where that soldier saw him and was going to fire on him and then trusted Fury, went straight back onto his other targets, so that was cool. We had Fury's wife and that little bit of interaction at the end there where obviously uh, they weren't prepared to kill each other. <laughs> so that was actually quite a cool part. I quite enjoyed it. Uh, I really thought she was, like, turned completely against him. Um, you could definitely appreciate where she was coming from, but I did love that whole thing where they went to shoot each other and just both shot to miss. It may be lackluster and all the rest of it, but it is still quite a neat show. I mean, it's got some cool parts in it. It's a little bit emotional. I think it's really good. You know, it's it, maybe it's not the best show, but I'll tell you this. Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, this show is nowhere near that level. Some people might argue that and say it's exactly on the same level, but no way at all. No way. It's still at least one step above the others, if not two or three steps above. Having said that, let's get into this episode. Sir, you need to make a space. This was not the Russian. Do not trust Colonel Rhodes. This is wicked. Oh, no. Okay, he's going to guard the room himself. Of course, Gravik would have put that news out on purpose. Talos is dead. Our target was the president, and he's still alive. Our war is yet to be set in motion. And if you'd have stolen what you were supposed to, I could have taken out the convoy single-handed. But would you? You had another chance to kill Fury today, and you didn't take it. Because he has what we need. You told me Fury hid the Avengers DNA, but it wasn't in any of the locations you provided. Well, Fury never trusted you. Why should we... Oh, shit. Hagen thought he had a voice, but none of you do. And the only reason Fury was on that motorway was because his traitor wife sent some of our people to Vara's house and kill her. He's actually a good villain. So he wants Avengers DNA. That's hard out. Keep Ripson alive. Make sure he knows it wasn't just the Russians. Prove to him there are scrolls living here in Russia. This is leverage, Rava. Fury doesn't want to see World War Three or to see innocent scrolls die. Where's the president? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay. You must be out of your scroll ass mind. You think I'm gonna let you get anywhere near the president? The footage of you killing Maria Hill is gonna lead off every news program all across the hemisphere and you're going to become the most wanted and hated man on the planet. Consider this a preview, Nick, because if you ever get within 100 yards of the president again, I'm going to make sure you get the whole show. And they've got a good plan. I mean, he's supposed to be the guy, right? And man, is he losing big time. <laughs> I want to see how he's going to get out of it. Former S.H.I.E.L.D. Director Nicholas Fury is being sought for the murder of former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Maria Hill. Well, do you really believe that scrolls could be amongst us? I think they're bloody everywhere. What are you doing? Politely asking the location of Dr. Rosa Dalton. Have you lost your mind, woman? Oh, oh. oh shit. Just showing Director Weatherby's true colours. Uh, uh. I must inform you that the SIS has no official policy on killing scrolls. She is sharp. I thought she was the scroll. Once he's awake, I'll send confirmation of the strike. They're not really going to have much of a show against him. He's super powered. Why isn't he doing this whole tendril thing? Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's a lethal already <laughs> without the superpowers. I'm nothing but a monster. He's a psycho, all right. But they tried it on.
Talos died. You can of... stop there. He died on a foreign planet. Nothing will come of it. I ran away from my father because I knew he would lose. Talos chose the path of struggle. He did not lose. Talos told me how you survived your execution. What DNA did Gravik steal? Only a few samples. But he took those because he couldn't find what he was looking for. Something he called the Harvest. Back when Fury took everything off I the Avengers, right? My father. You gonna be all right, kid? I'll put on a good face. <laughs> Hello, Skrulls. Who are you? Who would you like me to be? I'm very good at being your bestie. I'm also devilishly good at being not your bestie. Get out. Nigel. Now, my name's Victor. Nigel's the one with his silencer pressed against the base of your skull. You are breaking quite transgressive ground. Would you like to tell me all about it? No, I work here as fast as you can. Not you. It spans several different areas of focus. Ah, oh, well, let's focus on this, shall we? And don't miss out a damn decimal point. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to torch it. <laughs> I actually like Sonia. Oh, here we go. I won't let her betray Gravik. The males in my species are very similar. If they're not busy gaslighting you, they're threatening you with murder. <laughs> She's awesome. She's a Cold War spy. <laughs> oh, I love it. Gravik's people are going to arrive and find out that she's still alive. She should have already taken another disguise just to be safe. Professor Davis? Fury said you could help me bury my father. The scrolls aided in that attack, and they're working with the Russians. But we've received corroborating evidence from Sonia Fallsworth at SIS. The scroll compound. We have to neutralize this facility. A strike on Russian soil. That means World War III. I got a deal for you. Got anything to do with the harvest? Bring it to me in person. If I don't get what I want, your president's gonna bomb New Skrullos, and the war is on. An Interpol red notice. <sighs> wow. They don't just give those out to anyone. Well, Mama always said I was special. Yeah, Mama was right. I'd feel a lot better if we were on the helicarrier. That's been mothballed. Figured you might need that on the other side. You're welcome. <laughs> this is the guy of Black Widow, right? This is the guy that was helping Natasha get supplies. He deserves a procession of mourners. Talos wasn't much for pageantry. Do you have the offering? It was my mother's. I don't know the prayer. Neska chizi meshma. Wun yok bel. Man yachak nejak meju. The last thing I said to Fury before the snap because if you keep spending all your time chasing aliens, you might lose the one you married. And yet you decided to obey the order that says you have to wait around here for your execution. I love this house. With Fury. I wasn't sure if he'd ever commit to calling any one place home. It's lots of privacy, lots of security, and lots of leather light. <laughs> When it comes to facing down my executioners, I'd rather meet the bastards standing right here than to meet them running down some dark alley. Oh, shit. That was well done. <laughs> Good to go, Kit. Nice. Oh, that's a cool kit. Good shit. Oh, more of them. That was good. It's quite well paced. A billion dollars of research and development, and all the Widow's Veil can cloak is your face. What about the rest of you? That's the newer version, not this one. Huh. This is what we're doing? Yes, this is absolutely what we're doing. <laughs> Why do you think Rhodey is in charge of this? He asked for corroboration on the new Skrullov site. And you gave it to him? And last I checked, Britain and the US were allies. Well, last I checked, Rhodey is a Skrull. <sighs> well, who in the hell isn't a Skrull these days? Why in God's name would Gravik want to blow up his own people? Leverage. If I don't give Gravik the harvest, then Rhodey is going to incinerate the scroll compound. Russia will retaliate. But the harvest? 
Nearly every Avenger spilled blood in the battle of Earth, even Carol Danvers. In the aftermath, some were sent in to collect that DNA. Oh, shit. Nobody knew about them but me and the collectors. Great. Which is probably where he got the idea for the Super Scroll machine. So you are responsible for all this? He's caused a shit ton of problems, hasn't he? It's like Tony first said right back before the Battle of New York. Then it was his pursuit of all the weaponry. Scandinavian cemetery. Only dead men keep secrets. You taught me that, son. <laughs> Fury, why haven't you called any of your special friends down? We can't keep depending on these superheroes. The only power I have was planted between my ears by a single mother and wrapped around my finger by a woman. Didn't you have another one of these? Oh, I got these all over the place. You know, dead men need options. <laughs> Why Finland? Priscilla and I honeymooned here. Scrolls like the cold. Now you understand. <laughs> oh, he's awesome. And now you're going to give it to him. Exactly. Let's give our extinction a nice leg up. Cool that you trust him. Now that she knows the uh, gravity of the situation, does she trust him? Fury's back, okay. Okay. Old school. Just a man and a gun. Oh, Let's finish this. Okay. Mean. All right, guys, that was actually pretty good. It almost feels like it's changed itself up without uh, noticeably changing itself up. The story felt like it was moving along. We got to see a bit of the emotional bit there, the interaction between Gaia and Priscilla, is it? We got to see a lot more about Sonya. She's pretty cool. I love the idea that she's from that Cold War era or whatever it is with Fury. And they've obviously crossed paths and been allies and enemies, frenemies and all that through the years. But she trusts him. Right at the end there, I thought she was going to be like, you're going to give that to Gravik. And I thought she was going to step in and stop him. But she actually, it goes to show how much she trusts Fury's integrity based on all the years they've known each other. I love the humor that she brings to the episodes. You know, she's um, she's got dry humor. But then when it comes down to it, she pulled the pistol, shot that guy in the head. And I like that she's still a spy. And it just, something felt great about seeing Fury just change jackets, put his patch back on and get one pistol and go off to war against Gravik with this file that he's got, which has got the DNA of all the freaking Avengers, which is crazy as fuck. But yeah, it just, it just had a really great feeling to it. And it's kind of surprised me because, you know, the show has been, like I say, a bit lackluster and then there have been some kind of cool bits, but that bit felt great. It felt awesome. You sort of felt like Fury's coming back and... The whole rest of the episodes haven't really led up to that kind of feeling, so it kind of took me by surprise. I'm looking forward to seeing how the battle goes down, you know? He obviously wants the nations going to war so that they don't notice him slipping in the background with his million scrolls and quietly taking everybody out, you know, taking over the whole planet. He's bad, he's, he's crazy as fuck. I really feel like I'm starting to appreciate the smaller points of what they're putting into the show, you know, getting right back to this ground-level combat, you know? good gunplay, covering each other, you know, in all the scenes, it's just been some really decent combat, some good military style, grassroots kind of fundamental work, you know, it's quite effective, looking forward to seeing how we finish up this series, really I just want to give up on the show, but I feel like we'll be in for something half decent at the end, you know, so looking forward to that, anyway guys, that's going to be it for me on this video, as usual, please like all that kind of stuff, I really appreciate your support, but I'm going to be out, and I'll catch you on the next episode guys.